Hallo, der bin ein Spectator von euch, Mikrofon und willkommen zurück zu einer neuen Folge von Gibby The Cthulhu Adventure. Wir gehen heute mal ins Finman Haus, das wir gerade freigeräumt haben. Da haben wir ein leeres Glas, eine Standuhr und einen schlafenden Kultist. Come to Papa, little glass. Kann man immer brauchen, ein Glas. A classy classic. Der hat seine Is that crazy guy outside gone, friend? Yeah, he's gone. I made sure of that. Huh. Well, I guess things are in order. Forgive me if I sound reluctant. I've just come to trust you cultists less lately. Completely understandable. We got our fair share of dummies. The kind of dummies what sucker punch you no warning. Happened recently, right where we stand, mister. Ah, <sighs> yeah, no more respect for small businesses. Yeah, not to mention the big franchises moving in and cannibalizing us little guys. Right, cannibalism. Ugh. I mean, I ain't, I'm just trying to eat here, you know? Oh, yeah, absolutely. So, uh, what could I do you for, friend? Did a guy named Piavra happen to drop by your fine establishment? No offense, brother, but I'm smart enough to know I ain't supposed to be saying who's who and who ain't who, especially in these tense times, you know? Oh, I completely understand, and I appreciate the honesty. I wouldn't call the atmosphere tense exactly, more like completely insane. Oh, uh, you're just too trustworthy for me to keep my guard up, ain't you? Yeah, that's Piava passed out in the armchair over there. I meant the ugly rumors about the meal. Strange. Oh, uh, never mind. Just my big mouth get me in trouble again. The meal, huh? Yeah, I keep hearing troubles afoot. Trouble? Huh. <laughs> Ura knew that Psycho Butcher was trouble from the get-go, but oh no, elders know best. Too much talk of double-crossing down the abandoned factory the last few hours, you know what I'm saying? Where there's smoke, there's fire, huh? Dagon, forgive me for talking out of school, but if that good-for-nothing meat cobbler really denies the dream of his meal, well, there just ain't no point to nothing anymore. Wouldn't want the dreamer to go hungry, would we? Not after all the blood, sweat, and tears went into raising that thing. Cthulhu for Targon. The Dreamer. Brother, you're trustworthy and all, and I like you on a personal level. But this thing's too big for us to be yapping about. Yeah, makes sense. Sorry for insisting. For Targon. Are there any rooms available? Uh, I filled the capacity. You don't seem happy about that. Well... Well, let's just say, business ain't been as, uh, satiating as it could be. So, uh, you're full, but, uh, not really, huh? Yeah, that, that's a good way to be putting it, to be sure. Uh. What are your thoughts on the festival? To tell you the truth, it's kind of a disappointment so far. Scrawny cultists, most of them, and always roaming the streets and don't seem to ever go to sleep in their rooms like they're supposed to. I mean, it's a festival. People hardly sleep during these things. Uh, oh, they don't do that. I'll be on my way. Ja, das ist schön. Der mag uns ausnahmsweise mal. Ist doch toll. It seems Chief Piovra's leathery outfit is stuck to the armchair. It seems Chief Piovra. One more, damn it! Well, well, well. Chief Piovra sleeping off some booze. The okay. nerve of walking into a fine establishment such as this one and just crashing into an armchair. Not to mention the dangers associated. Ugh. Okay, aber können wir den Though the glass is technically full of atmosphere, it's uh, empty of anything he'd want, so pointless. Somehow I don't think his name is Randolph. Schuh? Sure. Does not Sicht? help. Ich ja, du hast doch gar nicht versucht. Hmm, I think the chief's outfit could use some lubrication first. Gross. No. Hey, also wir müssen die da irgendwie aus seinen Sessel rausgezogen kriegen quasi. Okay. Got myself a glass of oil. Neat. 
das sollte doch funktionieren, oder nicht? Ist nicht ganz so gut wie Butter. Wenn man schon fett ist und äh, an einem Stuhl festhängt, aber hey. Alright, that seems to have loosened the armchair's grip on Piovra's rotund frame. Und jetzt brecht er. Sure, I can pop him out, but how do I carry him? Mit dem Schubkarren. Dafür brauchen wir den nur. Joey, you think I could borrow that wheelbarrow for a minute? Oh man, I would, but I'd really avoid getting on my dad's nerves right now. You know, I want to get a tattoo or a piercing soon. Something to express myself right. And he's like so against it. Like, all he knows and cares about is fishing stuff. Says, I'm gonna be a fisherman, just like he is. Right, I gotcha. Hmm, let me think for a minute. Hey. Joey, what if you somehow got to express yourself and keep your dad happy too? How would I do that? I'm gonna have this fish hook. Think about it. Fish hook lip piercing. Your dad can't hate on that. It just screams fisherman. What do you say? That is so gnarly, dude. Awesome. Whew. All right then. You think I could get that uh, wheelbarrow? Kann man sich auch so vor Abschieden jemals sure jemanden küssen, Not aber hey. Man, this is gonna look so sick. Woot woot. Yeah, uh, maybe clean it a bit before sticking it in your lip. I don't think it's entirely sanitary as is. Uh-huh. Thanks, Don. Sure thing. Hey, before I go. You ever heard of someone called the Butcher? Who hasn't? But officially, I have no idea what you're talking about. There's a lot of whispers of betrayal and all kinds of crazy stuff, and everybody in the EOD is a lot more on edge than usual, but none of them are right in the head, so who knows, really? Yeah, this place is crazy, no doubt. What do you know about the meal? Look, man, I shouldn't either know or be telling you this, but a lot of the fish that my dad and most fishermen in town catch go straight into the meal. The fish or the meal? No, you square. The meal is what they've been raising over in Kraken Bay. Duh. Oh, oh, so uh, what is it? Don't know, don't care, and I wouldn't look too closely into it if I were you, just saying. You know anything about the, uh, the dreamer? Oh, man, don't say that out loud. They don't like that. Well, paradoxically, they speak his name out loud all the time, but geez, careful. You mean Dagon? Bigger than Dagon, Broham. Much bigger. Anyway, it's just a dumb delusion like everything else the Order worships. But it keeps them popping business, so, you know. Uh huh. Later, Joey. Don't blow my cover, all right? Watch your back, Donny boy. Sehr gut. Schublade, Brecheisen ins Gesicht und dann haben wir das Problem gelöst. Time to pop a cultist out of an armchair. Easy. Well. Here we are in the presence of Chief Piavra. Porca vacca! But, hard to tell how present he really is, but it's him all right. Ain't no discussion about that. All right, go right ahead. And Pescatori? Yeah? Well, I'm convinced he's long gone. But if by some dark miracle you do get a hold of him, show him what the EOD does to traitors. Ooh, showing good! You betcha. See you later, Pesce. Let him through, boys! Cthulhu for Dagen. All right, I was in. A cold, bluish-green light revealed parts of rusty machinery here and there. Everything else was drowned in inky black. Probably as black as the Butcher's deeds, but that remained to be seen. I was in. Just one regret. I'll never know who Randolph really was. 
Was haben wir das Namensschild weggeworfen? Oh mein Gott, nein. Ugh, the lid's all stuck with some disgusting crud. Ugh, the lid's all Don't forget to put that power tool back up once you're done with it, D. Some kind of container, apparently. Wir müssen es so machen, ja? Might be something useful inside. Hätte ich mit dem Randolph Shit noch was machen können? Wahrscheinlich, ne? Das ist ein Einlassventil. Raus können wir auch nicht mehr. Huge, huge, huge engine. From what I can make out, it seems to power the suspension mechanism above. Keine Resonanz, okay. There's a lever for that. Ja, dann betätigen wir den Hebel doch mal. Nichts passiert. Mm, nothing happened. I think it needs fuel. Ja, okay, da oben ist auch noch was. Freeze, you ugly cultist! I'm not moving. Good, good. Okay, now what? Now you get to explain just what you're creeping around in the dark here for, cultists. I, I'm really not a cultist. Honest. Mm, okay, let me see here. Cultist robes? Check. Lurking around in an abandoned factory? Check. I'm a private investigator in deep cover. That's not the only thing you're deep in, creep. What are you up to here? Don't lie. I can tell. Well, see ya. What do you think you're doing? Opting out of this dialogue. <laughs> no, well, I got you on my sides, you don't. Oh, okay. It just worked every time before. First time for everything, cultists. I was just looking for you. Someone said a kid got lost in this abandoned factory, so but here I am. Your savior. Look, I'm not firing any warning shots because the noise will alert your buddies. So rely on me making all my bullets count. Mm. Read that loud and clear. I'm investigating. I'm looking for, uh, well, at this point, I might call him a criminal mastermind, really. The Butcher. And how do I know you're not one of his henchmen, trying to lie your way out? Oof, can't think of anything, really. There's just been so much going on lately, it's hard to wrap my head around everything. Let alone explain myself to a kid with a huge gun pointed at my noggin. I've got time. Ugh. To make an uh, extremely long and convoluted story short, I'm helping a friend unhumanize his cat, I think. Turns out, uh, when they can talk, they're real grouches. So, I'm trying to find out. Wait, what's this friend's name? Buzz. Oh, we'll talk about a coincidence. Is he a librarian? Only librarian I know what's got a talking cat, yeah. Wait, you're not shooting me now, are you? Whatever way they wronged him, I had nothing to do with it. Kid, it can be a real... They actually got Mr. Gilsey back for me. I hate to say it, but they're kind of all right in my book. I... I... I mean, I hate them less than you cultists. Wait, you know Buzz and Kitty? Yeah, we swapped dolls a while ago. Back in Darkham. Well, that sounds perfectly normal. Unlike what you are doing, <laughs> you, you, you bad, bad people! Kitty eats fish. You hate her too? Well, she can't help it, you dumb, dumb, can she? She's a carnivore. That's natural. What you are doing is not. True enough, she's just a cat. And you're just a kid. I don't pretend to understand anything about you pe you kids. But I do know that at your age, you should be playing with dolls, not handling firearms. Come on, just hand it over. <laughs> He's still so commentary. <laughs> uh, you are not getting this gun. So step off, Grandpa. Oh, not you too. I'm, I'm really not that old. You are old, and you stink like dead rotten fishies. Fishies you probably murdered with your stinky murdering hands. Actually, they were already dead, and they rained down on me like ironic, putrid offerings of the heavens. I can't tell if I'm more bored or annoyed with you at this point. I don't even like fish. I I mean, I don't like eating them. I've got nothing against them. So then why are you 
killing so many of them. Again, not a cultist, but it might have something to do with whatever the butcher was working on in this very building. Yeah, well, we'll shed some light on that situation soon enough. I'm really not a cultist. My name's Don. Don Archetype. Hmm, Don doesn't sound like what a cultist name would be. I figured they'd all have names like... Oliver? Maybe like a really sad one, and they preyed on his weakness when they recruited him. Do you believe I'm not a cultist now? Not entirely. You'd better actually prove it. Alright, uh, I'm game, I guess. What are you thinking? If you're really here for the reasons you say you are, we're both looking for the same thing. The Butcher's Laboratory. Chop chop! I'll be supervising from up here. Sounds like a plan, uh, Miss... Priscilla. Are you sure? I'm sure! Get to it! Okay, okay, okay. Mm, okay, no resonance. Nice big lever over here. Seems to control the suspension mechanism above. Okay. Ist auch heller geworden hier jetzt. Strange. There's a discontinuity in the pattern here. Hmm. Didn't really expect to see mattresses and pillows lying around in here, but there ich they are. Ich sehe Maybe they had an overpopulation problem? Place seems empty now. I don't want to touch any of them. Sleep more, work more, raise more, sleep more, work more, die raise more. That's one impressive, gigantic door. I don't see myself forcing this one open. Locked from the inside. Hmm. Lock it! Lock it! Leave the shut up! Okay. There's something here I need to take a closer look at. Cover it well! Cover it well! I know Kung Fu. Aha! Mm. <laughs> it's a heavy sliding door. Huge, sturdy sliding door. Riveted shut on its right side. There's gotta be something of interest behind it. Keep them well refrigerated, he said. More liquid nitrogen. Riveted shut. Dang it. Und die Nieten einfach rausziehen. That requires some kind of specialized tool. Can't do it with my bare hands. Actually, probably could if my hands were bare hands. Die Nieten haben nichts zu sagen. Bunch of annoying rivets. Keep I really hate you, rivets. I really do. That requires some. Was haben wir da für die tolle Luke? It's a hatch in this uh, this thing, but it's dark as night inside. Hmm. This means there's got to be some way to get inside it. Whatever it is. Can't reach. Ugh, the Can we uh, Let's pop this baby open. All right. Got myself a power tool. Sehr gut. Damit können wir doch die Nieten wegmachen. Aber ich würde sagen, das machen wir in der nächsten Folge von Gibby's Cthulhu Adventure. Bis dahin, haut rein.